Well, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have about 300 people joining us online. We are excited to welcome you to our first virtual conference, our Audit Summit. My name is Emily Dalzell. I serve as the Communications Director at the Auditor's Office, and today we have an excellent lineup of speakers for you. They specialize in a variety of different areas, all audit-based, and we have an excellent agenda to go over. Our first speaker of the conference is the leader of our organization, Auditor Galleon. He was elected in November of 2016 to serve as North Dakota's 17th state auditor. Originally hailing from Spokane, Washington, he served in the United States Air Force at the Minot Air Force Base from 1998 until 2002. His education includes an associate's degree from Bismarck State College, a Bachelor's of Science degrees in Accounting and Business Administration from Dickinson State University, and a Master of Business Administration degree from the University of North Dakota. Please welcome State Auditor Galleon. Thanks, Emily. And uh, thanks to Callie and Corey, who you can't see, um, they're kind of staying behind the scenes. It's uh, it's an amazing how this event has has come to be. Uh, the the planning and the coordinating it takes to put on a summit like this uh, between our speakers and all of the logistics. And so it's it's hard to believe that it's finally here today. We've been talking about this uh, as a concept for well over a year. And so to pull this together with our multiple presenters. Uh, and the and the list of attendees, it's just a it's a fantastic job uh, by the staff. And again, I want to thank all of you for participating. We have a lot of great information today that we want to share with you. We've got some fantastic speakers. <clears throat> as me, uh, Emily mentioned, and my name is Josh Galley, and I'm honored to serve as North Dakota State Auditor. Prior to this, I've served in financial roles in the public and private sectors, as well as uh, mentioning the, the United States Air Force at Minot Air Force Base. I was in uniform during the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center on September 11th. During that time, my job uh, was to assist in the deployment of military personnel, equipment, and our planes. The B-52s uh, housed up at Minot Air Force Base, and we sent them all around the world. My military background is why having a sound mission, a clear vision, and strong values are so important to me and in an organization. They provide direction and help ensure we are all working towards a common goal. The Auditor's Office, our mission is to produce informative audits to improve government. We believe in continuous improvement and transparency. Our goal is to use our skills, knowledge, and expertise to shed light on how our governments are using our resources to provide services and how it could be done more effectively. That is why we apply our talents in auditing to really try to help our clients do better with the resources the public trusts them with. The vision uh, within the auditor's office. Our vision is a diverse team committed to generating greater value for the taxpayers. To us, this means we appreciate and respect the different perspectives, experiences, and disciplines within our office and yours. We trust and rely on others who have strengths we may not to improve our product, the audit report, because we believe in making sure that any audit report that the auditor's office produces can be set on any small town cafe and the readers in that community can pick it up and understand what we're trying to convey. So being clear, concise, understandable, these are all things that are very important to us and we rely on the disciplines and the strengths of people in our office to be able to produce that outcome. Our values, we also live by a set of shared values. These values help to establish expectations and contribute to a shared culture that improves the speed and quality of decision-making at every level of the organization. I'll walk through a little bit of these one by one. First one I'll cover is respect. We always treat others as we would like to be treated. And I know our local government team does a fantastic job of making sure that we always demonstrate respect to our clients uh, in our communications and our actions. 
But this also internally for us means that we arrive on time to meetings. We want meetings to end on time to show respect to others who may have following commitments. We are always finding ways to demonstrate respect through our communication and actions daily. Excellence is another one of our values. Everything done in the auditor's office to ensure we exceed the standards. We do not strive to meet the minimum. That mentality of just getting by is not accepted by anyone in this organization. We push ourselves to constantly deliver more than what was expected and produce a better product than anyone thought possible. People pay for excellence, and that is what we strive to deliver every single day. Leadership. This is not a job title or a box on our org chart in, in the auditor's office. Every member of our team has the ability and opportunity to lead. We provide encouragement and support for each and every member of the auditor's office to gain the training and courage to tackle any situation we face. Some, uh, some of our audits uh, are challenging, uh, while others are just complicated. The one thing that's constant is we provide opportunities for every staff to learn and grow to be a leader. Integrity, do what's right even if no one is looking. In the auditor's office, we be believe in doing the right thing at all times. It may not always be the most popular or appreciated stance, but we will follow the auditing standards, the laws and the constitution of the state of North Dakota. And we will make sure that our audit reports not only follow the standards, but exceed the standards. Teamwork. Uh, the, the last one on here is uh, very important to the auditor's office. We work in small teams. We rely on our fellow team members to accomplish these uh, difficult tasks because audits are large, complicated processes wrapped in a multitude of standards and statutes. This forces us to rely on one another's skills and knowledge to complete. We always pull together and fill in the gaps to achieve the mission. Audits are a team effort and our local government audit team, if I haven't uh, mentioned before, in my opinion, these guys are the best in the state that we have. Uh, and so uh, it's a fantastic team and I'm very excited that you're gonna get to hear from several of them today. A little bit about the divisions within the auditor's office. Our first division, the agency division, this is responsible for conducting uh, the operational audits uh, under of state agencies, as well as the annual comprehensive financial audit uh, and the single audit for the state of North Dakota. The local government division, many of, uh, again, many of uh, whom you will hear from today, they conduct the audits of entities like counties, cities, school districts, park districts, uh, there's a, a, a list of, I believe, 20, 23 entities, uh, types of entities across our state that we conduct audits on. We can uh, currently, the team currently conducts approximately 80 audits a year. But we need many more auditors to keep up with the demands of our clients. And uh, the waiting list for our services continues to grow. We also have a division uh, that does uh, the university system audits. This team focuses on conducting audits of our institutions of higher ed, as well as the system office. And we rely heavily on our partnership with the Board of Higher Ed and the Audit Committee to communicate our findings to make sure that the university system is constantly improving the products and the delivery of services uh, that they do for our higher education. Another division that we have is mineral royalty. This is one that a lot of people may not be aware of that the auditor's office conducts. It's a federally funded program that focuses their efforts on compliance with federal government royalty payments on federal lease lands uh, for oil and gas. We utilize compliance reviews and audits to ensure the royalty payments are paid, uh, properly paid to the federal government and the state of North Dakota. These individuals, uh, their work that they do, it does benefit both state and federal governments because it's uh, important to make sure that the royalty payments owed are properly collected. The last division that we have, the operations team within the auditor's office handles HR, accounting, IT, and communication. It also houses what, uh, what I call the fun team. Uh, they're constantly finding opportunities uh, for us as an organization to live our philosophy of work hard, play hard. We're always striving to celebrate uh, successes 
and demonstrate our appreciation for the dedication and efforts of each member of the team that contributes to our overall success. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about the speakers that you have. Combined, they have nearly 80 years of audit experience. Now that may, that may be surprising because based on those pictures on the screen, a couple of them look like either they just got their, maybe their driver's license or recently graduated from college. But yes, 80 years uh, of experience. And these individuals are well respected in their field. Um, have, have I mentioned that I, I do think these are the best government auditors in the state of North Dakota? If not, I thought I'd throw that in there one more time, even though I, I understand I might be biased. Uh, these speakers have a lot to share, and our goal is to provide insight into the auditing process, uh, the reports. There's, there's so much that goes into these, and especially managing the finances at the local level. So I think today we're going to talk about some of uh, the budget issues. There's just so much good information out there, and we are so excited to share um, our knowledge with you. Heath is going to be our first speaker. He has been uh, with the office for 15 years. He is our audit manager. He is in charge of the local government division. We also have Alex uh, going to talk today. He's been with the office uh, for just under 10 years. Dan is also going to be uh, talking today. He's our quality assurance manager. Been with the office for about 25 years. We also have Mike Schmidtke who's worked in many different divisions uh, within the auditor's office. Very, uh, very knowledgeable individual. And then John, John's been with the office just under 10 years as well. Uh, he's gonna talk a little bit about the audit report process. Uh, with that, I, I think we've got a little bit of time before our next speaker. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we provided time for everybody to grab coffee, um, do the one little last things, because I know you're not gonna wanna miss uh, Heath's presentation that will happen at 9 a.m. All right. Well, with that, I definitely appreciate it. Um, thank you very much.